a fairly conservative at least in model. The following program was recorded at the annual Smart Ops Forum held this year in Chicago. I'm pleased to welcome Editor-in-Chief of Supply Chain Brain, Russell Goodman. Joining us for a conversation today on inventory optimization in the agrochemical industry is Dave Winstone, Global Supply Chain Manager at Dow AgroSciences. Welcome, Dave. Thank you, Russell. Dave, before we get into the interview proper, let's just back up for just a moment and explain to those viewers who may not be familiar with Dow AgroSciences, what is the company all about? What does it do? Well, Dow AgroSciences is a wholly owned business unit of the Dow Chemical Company that is a provider of chemical and biological solutions to the agricultural industry. Now, you have had a relationship with SmartOps for quite some time. What was the need that your company had that led to that relationship? You know, it's interesting. The way that relationship came about was actually as part of Dow's uh, acquisition of the Roman Haas Company um, about a year ago. As, as part of that acquisition, um, they recognized that uh, Roman Haas had been using SmartOps successfully for a number of years. They were looking for leverage opportunities for, for that, uh, that technology. And uh, they looked around inside of the Dow Chemical Company for a business that uh, operated with traditional MRP2 type processes and, and had a lot of inventory. Um, and they found both of those in Dow Agro Sciences. And so you know, we became a pilot for the Dow Chemical Company and built the relationship with SmartOps through, uh, through that way. Now, you know, anytime two companies merge like that, sometimes there can be surprises. I guess the question to you is, what was the biggest thing about this implementation process for you? What was the biggest surprise that uh, was involved? You know, when we envisaged originally laying out this implementation, you know, we knew we had to uh, uh, plan this in multiple uh, stages. Our, our product supply chains have multiple stages in them. We knew we needed to do that in an integrated way. And, and we thought we were going to have to do that with, uh, with several chunks of uh, of data, several phases to that to that rollout to build our full integrated global supply chain. What we actually found when we got into the implementation mm -hmm. was that we were able to go from a small scale pilot right to implementing the whole company in in one step. So the the scalability, the ability to to transform large amounts of data quickly, was uh, was pretty impressive, and uh, we managed to get that up and running in uh, in a quick period of time. I would imagine as you were going into the implementation, you had an idea of the benefits that you were hoping to achieve. What have been the benefits and has, has it been uh, what you expected? Has it been what you wanted? Uh, yes, it has. I mean, we, we had a fairly uh, conservative, at least the Smart Ops guys told us it was a conservative uh, estimate of benefits when we started off. We were looking for a 5% saving in our overall inventory. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the big things that we found as we, as we dug into the understanding of the inventory that we had was that inventory targets were only about 20% of our total inventory overall. And so 5% of our overall inventory became a 25% target for reduction in our inventory targets overall. And, and so we, uh, we, we focused on that. Um, we see ourselves be, uh, as achieving that. Um, but probably the bigger benefit and what was more of a surprise was the understanding that we got around the other 80% of our inventory. Uh, just understanding what the fundamental drivers were behind that, uh, being able to see that, the visibility of that, the simulation capability of that was, uh, was something that, that we found was very useful and we intend to be able to take a lot of advantage of going forward and see probably bigger benefits than, uh, than the original 5% uh, by being able to target particularly our lean improvement efforts to the things we can identify in there that will, uh, that will help us reduce inventory further. Working on those drivers such as lead time, such as the review frequency, mm -hmm. et cetera, in the process. Now, earlier you told me how important you see the education process to be in implementation. But walk the viewer through that. What are you talking about? Education of whom? This is the education of, of primarily our planning and supply chain community within Diagro Sciences. Uh, you know, we're in the process of trying to roll out an education process to about 100 people in the organization at the moment. Um, th that's really about making sure they understand the, the fundamentals behind smart ops, the theory, the concepts behind that, uh, really around multi-stage inventory optimization and how that's able to get people to what, what I like to call the magic and. You know, how do you actually get inventory down and service levels up at the same time. 
And without people understanding the, uh, the concepts behind that, the ability through optimization across all those multiple stages in the supply chain, uh, they, they tend not to get why you can achieve both of those at the same time in a fix the mix type implementation. You know, most of the traditional education material out there tells you there's a trade-off between inventory level and service. It's only when you fully understand the, the concepts behind multi-stage inventory optimization that you get to appreciate that you can actually achieve both with an implementation of tools such as SmartOps. Well, Dave, that's been, it's been a valuable case study of the relationship between you and SmartOps. Thanks for speaking with us today. It's been my pleasure, Russell. Thank you. It was Dave Winstone of Dow AgroSciences speaking with us today about inventory optimization in the agrochemical industry. Thank you for watching.